We'll just put you back up here where you belong here, and we'll, uh, we'll uh... Yeah, that's a boy. Wow, that's, that's the spirit. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you. Yeah, I don't think up there a bit more. Yes, well, the creeper, your old friend the creeper will be here in a while. We'll have a grand party, celebrate everything, and, uh... I have a feeling we're going to, uh, be going back to, uh, Pennsylvania, boy, very shortly. Oh. Here is Zachary. Convention here, I think. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Oh. Well, that takes me back there. We had a grand party every year, of course. We always used to go back to the embassy, <coughs> which in New York is Bellevue Hospital. <laughs> Do you like this? Do you like this? This is fun. I love this. I love this. I'm sick of seeing that other show you do usually. <coughs> it's your this color, show. though, isn't it? Yes, it is. Black as me. That's it. <laughs> black and red. Black and red. Just were grand. You, were you the first person to become the monster of ceremonies? Well, the master uh, of ceremonies. Yeah, of the that's show. very, very good. No, not really. I think uh, I think the idea was in here in Philadelphia was dreamed up by a game nine, a gay a guy. He may be gay. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've been wondering about that, actually. Uh, he reminds me of that chubby little writer, you know. But anyway, his name, was, his name was Ed White, and he uh, he uh, knew about these movies, and uh, I think all across the country, they realized that a lot of those uh, horror movies weren't all that great. Uh, you know, Lon Chaney Jr. doing those little numbers he did. But the classic ones were certainly great. And uh, across the country, there were several, uh, as you mentioned earlier, late night... Uh, Yes. <laughs> you like a little that. weird, you know? Yes, that, uh, <laughs> was this your desire as a young guy to do No, 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 no. I came from a, a long line of Presbyterians. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, How long was that line? <laughs> <laughs> oh, long, long line, long line. And uh, I was not allowed to see these films when I was a kid. Uh, so it was a quite a surprise to me to see if there were. I used to stay home on Saturday afternoons. We had a book, you know, that said this was for kids. This was for not kids, you know. So I stayed home and uh, played with a kid up the street, you know. Uh, he also got suckered into staying home by his parents. And I never saw these films until I was in my, you know, late, late 20s. And I couldn't believe it. I'd been deprived of all these things. <laughs> so uh, that's, what, that's what it was, really. Yes. Well, why was your show relegated to a late night spot here in Philadelphia? Oh, well, uh, when they, when they uh, were released for television, the, the horror movies, a lot of parents groups were nervous for fear television would corrupt their kids, you know. And uh, so they decided that the safe thing to do would be to put them late at night. And then they wouldn't watch. So we did late at night here in Philadelphia following old, uh, old uh, John Vicente. Is he still alive? Oh, sure he is. is. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, that's, I, I couldn't believe that. Well, anyway, uh, late, late at night after the weather and all, we'd have these movies Monday and Tuesday. Then we got reports from the schools that the kids were falling asleep on uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Uh, so uh, they, <laughs> in fact, one of your producers here told me it happened to him. And uh, it was true. That, so they changed that the Friday and Saturday. While, while this show's on. Absolutely. Yeah, I noticed. Asleep a lot. I noticed, I noticed. A lot of people all over the country attempted to host a horror film like you did. Yeah, yeah. They tried yeah. the same idea, but they weren't successful. Why do you suppose well, you were I, successful? I don't know. We, we, had, uh, we used to kid them an awful lot, and uh, we didn't uh, take it all so seriously as some of the talk we had here a while ago about the vampire and the oak. <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe all that stuff. <laughs> Vampires, you know, with a, with a steak and the yolk and all that, and, uh, and the poppy seeds, that's too much. You had the right idea about those poppy seeds. Yes, well, they left off the sun, that's the main <laughs> thing. That's how Blackula went out. <laughs> well, anyway. Tell the story uh, about, about the Arlene Francis. Oh, yes, Arlene her Francis, first uh, she didn't want her kid to watch him. She must have been a little Presbyterian, too. And uh, she wouldn't let her kid watch him, but of course he and uh, I think Bennett Surf's son used to pal around together up in New York, and they were watching him, and she'd catch him doing it and say, no more of that, you know. And uh, finally, he said, Mother, it's, it's funny, it's funny. And she told me, she confessed to me, that her first film in Hollywood was a horror movie with uh, Bela Lugosi, in which she played a streetwalker. She had no lines. All she did was stand there and go, oh, oh. She was kidnapped off the street, taken into the laboratory, and hung up, you know, in that classic fashion. And uh, Bella had this great experiment of taking ape blood and mixing it with a lady's blood, and everything would be great, you know. But unfortunately, uh, hardly had she got two or three moans out in the, in the laboratory scene after about six moans on the street, and uh, she passed out. And he was very upset about it and says, Igor, cut her down. And Igor chopped the ropes, you know, and kicked the thing in the trap door, and she went right down into the river Seine. And uh, of course, we cut away at that point. 
and uh, I caught her in my laboratory <laughs> and uh, <laughs> proceeded to do a number on her body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, all for the interest of science, of course. Do we have uh, but we used to do that. We used to cut, do yes. we have that film? A little, little bit of film that shows what we used to cut in and out of the movies. No, okay. this is just a oh, yours. example of uh, okay, how you uh, did how we used that. to do I want to see yes. that. Roll it, please. All right. Yeah, roll. Yes. Well. She's a high priestess now. It's almost unbelievable. Finding someone like you in this strange setting with witchcraft and jungle gods, it's... it's... Kill him, Ed Bum! Kill him! Kill him! <laughs> <laughs> 